New information tonight on the obituary bandit case in southwest Washington. It now has a Portland connection. Police say that the suspects sold $18,000 worth of gold at a local pawn shop, and that's just the beginning. Coin Local 6 reporter Jessica Morkert is live in Vancouver now. And Jessica, police say these guys move in when their victims are attending a funeral? That's right, Kelly, and police also say that these guys are armed and dangerous, so if you see them, immediately call police. And some of that stolen jewelry that these guys are responsible for was found uh, inside the gate here at this play yard, at this daycare in Vancouver. And many people here feel that this crime is so low that property crime should be strengthened because of it. When you get someone who is preying on someone in a time of grief, I, I, it, that takes a a much cold calculating person. Dave Fox was sickened after watching the 11 o'clock news last night. As the owner of Continental Loan and Jewelry in Vancouver, he's on the lookout for two men police say are responsible for a cruel crime. When you're preying on someone by reading an obituary in the paper, that's just is unfortunately, in my opinion, it's about as low as it comes. Detectives say 31-year-old Tyler Chase and 20-year-old Corey Arndt stole irreplaceable valuables from at least eight people in the Marysville area. Some of that jewelry they stole randomly turned up here near this Vancouver daycare. I was shocked and I didn't know what to think. I was like, is this a joke? $18,000 worth of it was sold at a Portland shop. So many of these gold buyers or jewelry buyers or jewelry stores that just buy gold, they slide to the cracks because unfortunately law enforcement just doesn't have the manpower, the resources to be monitoring all those people. Continent alone and many other shops are using a centralized database called Rapid, which red flags stolen items as soon as that day. And anyone who shops or sells at this shop must fill out a police report. But police say one of the best ways to safeguard your items is to get insurance for jewelry and write down a description. Also write down a serial number. In the meantime, Fox hopes the suspects are caught. There's nothing right about property crime in any way, shape, or form. Now, police believe the suspects may still be using a 2011 black Chevy Impala. That license plate number, Oregon license plate number, is 376 ETA. That car is a rental. And again, if you see these two men, they are armed and dangerous, so you're urged to immediately just call 911. Reporting for you live in Vancouver, Jessica Morkert, Coin Local 6.